And now the, the other little short guy. <laughs> That's you? Yeah. The other one. <laughs> I traveled to Giverny for my father who never heard of Monet, who never stood in front of the water lilies and sighed. I traveled to Giverny for Ryoko, who yearns continually to be an impressionist painting, an impassioned summer walk through a grand garden on a Sunday afternoon. I traveled to Giverny despite my desire to stay in bed, despite my losing against myself time and time again, despite the changing Paris sky, the Eiffel Tower's tip. I traveled to Giverny in order to blur the boundaries between urban, suburb, tombstones and circuit breakers along the way. I traveled to Giverny because she travels to Giverny and because this is one of her dreams and because we are so tired of each other and the city streets we've walked for hours every day for weeks. And because she cannot go by herself and I cannot go by myself, I travel to Giverny on a train packed with tourists, tourists just like me. I travel to Giverny with the thought of what I might be missing tonight in some small club on some back street within the city's heart. I travel thinking of all the phone calls I should have made while in Paris, all the letters I didn't write. I travel to Giverny for my mother, who sometimes wore dark glasses on hot sunny days, who never stood in the museum garden muttering to the bathing statues. My mother, who tried her best to give me a bit of education outside the system, despite her own lack of knowledge. My mother, who loved me so much it hurt, and me still not knowing if to love means to inflict pain. I travel to Giverny on a train filled with proletarians who, like me, I presume, are traveling to Giverny for the first time for themselves and for others who will never make the trip. We travel to Giverny as the landscape changes from urban to, to industrial to suburban. Green, white, collar like Long Island, we sometimes visit Long Island. Giverny, I feel like a train wreck and she feels blessed. And we concur that ignorant does not mean stupid. I travel to Giverny as the clouds and sun vie for equal time in the two blue sky to Giverny to experience someone else's life. A guy, just another guy, she admits, Giverny. The genie has been released from the bottle and it's just another guy, a dead guy like my father who puts his hands behind his head, closes his eyes, and naps, dreaming about the colors he used to paint the walls of strangers with, the neat colors that become indistinguishable strokes of paint, the strokes becoming lilies on a faraway pond. I never asked my parents what they knew or what they'd seen, small yellow wildflowers and Queen Anne's lace along the tracks. I never thought I'd meet someone like Ryoko with such honest, romantic, simple, and unfulfilled desires, her frilly hats and flowered dresses fluttering in the wind of her kitchen. I traveled to Giverny for my brother who traveled to Florida too often. I traveled to Giverny for my return ticket to New York is not for 10 days and my return ticket from Giverny is for tonight, Giverny. G-I-V-E-R-N-Y, Giver, New York. <laughs> I travel to Giverny for everything I have is in someone else's hands. I travel to Giverny for everything she has is in someone else's hands and everything he had is in someone else's hands. I travel for my father, for my mother. I haven't even got there yet and the journey has wiped me out. I travel to Giverny, to Giverny, to Giverny. I travel to Giver, G, G, Giverny, Giverny. Uh, G, G. I travel to Giverny, to Giverny, to Giverny, to see what I can take back with me.